Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will take a look at Figma versus Framer. Now, which is better? Well, Figma and Framer are both industry-leading design tools, but they both cater to slightly different designs and workflows. Now, in this video, we will do a detailed breakdown of their pros and cons to help you pick the perfect match for your design needs. So let's go ahead into the video. First, let's take a look at the pros of Figma. Now, Figma excels in collaborative design. Its real-time editing and commenting features enables seamless teamwork, perfect for design teams working on projects simultaneously. Now, Figma boasts a clean and intuitive interface, making it easy to learn and use, even for beginners with no prior design experience. And Figma offers a massive library of free and paid plugins, extending its functionalities to cover design needs like prototyping, data visualization, and code generation. Now, Figma works seamlessly across various operating systems, allowing designers on Windows, Mac, and even Linux to collaborate effortlessly. And Figma offers a generous free plan with limited features allowing you to try the platform before committing to a paid subscription. Now let's take a look at the cons of Figma. Now while Figma offers basic prototyping features, it might not be as powerful as Framer for creating complex and highly interactive prototypes. And while offering great design capabilities, Figma might not provide the same level of absolute control and customization as Framer for highly unique design elements. And while plugins can help with code generation, Figma's built-in capabilities might not be as advanced as Framer's for a seamless handoff to developers. Now for large design teams, Figma's pricing structure can become expensive compared to some competitors. And with complex design files and numerous plugins, Figma's performance might slow down on older computers. Now let's take a look at the pros of Framer. Now Framer shines in creating interactive prototypes with complex animations and micro interactions. This allows designers to test and refine user journeys before development. And built on React technology, Framer integrates seamlessly with this popular JavaScript library. Developers can leverage pre-built components for efficient coding. And Framer offers unparalleled design flexibility, allowing for the creation of truly unique and visually stunning user interfaces with intricate interactive elements. Now, Framer's code generation is more advanced, enabling a smoother transition from design to development with cleaner code for developers to work with. And Framer excels at managing design systems, ensuring design consistency across projects and teams, especially valuable for large organizations. Now let's take a look at the cons of Framer. Now for beginners with no design experience, Framer's interface might have a steeper learning curve compared to Figma's user-friendly approach. Now while not mandatory for basic design tasks, some features and functionalities in Framer benefit from some coding knowledge, especially for complex interactions. Now, Framer's free plan has significant limitations, making it less suitable for casual use or trying out the platform compared to Figma's generous free tier. And while Framer offers collaboration tools, they might not be as robust as Figma's real-time editing and commenting functionalities for large design teams. Now, Framer's pricing plans can be more expensive than Figma, especially for larger teams or complex projects. So, which is better? Well, the ideal platform depends on your design goals and workflows. Go ahead and choose Figma if collaboration is a top priority. You value a user-friendly interface for beginners and basic prototyping features are sufficient for your needs. You might also appreciate a vast plugin ecosystem and cross-platform compatibility. Or go ahead and choose Framer 
if you prioritize creating highly interactive prototypes, require advanced design flexibility and customization, and have developers comfortable working with React. You might also value clean code generation and advanced handoff to develop teams. Now, both Figma and Framer are excellent design tools. Consider your design workflow, team size, budget, and the level of prototyping complexity required to determine which platform empowers you to bring your design vision to life. Remember, some designers even leverage both platforms. Figma for collaboration design and initial prototyping, and then Framer for creating high-fidelity interactive prototypes for more complex user journeys. Well, I hope that you have found this video helpful. See you guys next time.